now is what photographers call the magic hour. I've just spotted another great shot. I'm gonna try and put together a series of stitched images. I'm hoping for a really exciting shot. That's exactly what we want. I've got two lights set up and we've got this lovely wooden line. The exposure range is just too great. Hi, I'm Carl Taylor and this episode we're going to look at how you clean your camera's sensor because quite often and very frustratingly your camera sensor picks up minute microscopic little hairs and bits of dust and stuff and when you're shooting landscape images especially uh, at small apertures like f22 or f32 and you've got that extended depth of field these microscopic little pieces of dust can show up in your images as little black specks on your final picture because the extra depth of field brings them uh, sharper into focus. And they really are quite frustrating and annoying. And what I want to do is show you a little bit about how you can clean those away if you get a build-up of those. Now, the cameras themselves have got a built-in cleaning mode, which basically vibrates uh, a surface on the sensor to try and shake the dust away. And um, it works to a certain degree, but after you've had your camera for some time and you've been using it for a while, um, it can accumulate dust that the automatic cleaning mode doesn't remove. So today we're gonna take a quick look at how I clean my camera sensor. It's not the only way, there are other products on the market and uh, you might want to check those out too. All I'm going to do is show you my method for cleaning them um, just in case you're interested. And basically I start off with this uh, bit of wire wool and some white, <laughs> I'm just kidding, we don't, use, <laughs> we don't use wire wool and white spirit to clean our sensor. We use a can of air is the first choice, okay? Now let me explain what I would do. So we take the lens off, let's pop that out the way, and on the back of the camera we're just going to have a look at the menu system and we've got sensor cleaning here and if I push sensor cleaning we've got auto cleaning which is on automatically so that when you turn the camera on the camera cleans the sensor automatically each time. Then you've got a clean now option and clean manually. So if I click the clean now option and press OK, the camera is now cleaning the sensor. You can hear it doing its thing and that's it done. And that will do its best to remove whatever dust is attached um, or clung on to the sensor. Now, as I say, that isn't always enough. So you've got another option here which is clean manually. Now you have to be very careful with this clean manually mode because what happens here is that when we hit the clean manual uh, button, it will lock the mirror open because obviously the mirror is in the way of the sensor. We can't see the sensor with the mirror in the way there. So it will lock the mirror open, which drains battery power. So if you're gonna do this in clean manual, make sure you've got a full new battery in there so that the battery doesn't cut out and the mirror drop down while you're in there cleaning it because then you could cause all sorts of damage. So it's imperative that you have a full battery charged when you do this. So clean manually, press that button. This is obviously on a 5D Mark II. It's similar on the 7D and many other Canon cameras and I'm sure it's similar on the Nikons. I don't know because I don't use Nikon. So please don't start complaining why we haven't done a review about this on a Nikon. If you want to send me a Nikon in the post, I'll gladly review it for you. Anyway, so um, let's move on, switch on to the OK mode, press OK, and the mirror will lock up. So as soon as I press OK, there we go, the mirror's locked up, and now the sensor is exposed there, so we can see it, and we're able to clean it. To deactivate this, you then have to actually turn the camera off, and when you turn the camera off, the mirror 
shuts down again and that's the cleaning process finished. So to finish the cleaning process, you have to actually physically turn the camera off on this particular model. So the first thing that I would do, the first choice would be simply to use air. Now air is the best way because you don't have to physically touch the sensor. You're just simply going to blow the dust away as best as possible. So this is a standard air duster can. This one's made by Ken Air, Ken Row. Uh, use these quite a lot. And they just are a fluorocarbon based can that expels high pressure air. You've got to be a bit careful with these because when you use them upside down, then the fluorocarbons will cause this massive cooling effect, which will burn your skin. It's very cold. You can see that little patch of ice there. You can actually give yourself frostbite. So be careful if you do that. Um, and you certainly don't want to do that on your camera or camera sensor. So if you turn it upside down, you're going to have a problem. It's going to do this. Let's do it here. You can see that ice there. And you're going to really freeze something. And then once you've turned it back upright again, you're still going to have that same problem. So make sure if it, the can's been upside down to carefully give it a couple of squirts first before you actually intend on using it. Right, so here's what I would do. Let's go back into the menu system, sensor cleaning, clean manually. Um, okay, there's the mirror locked up now and we can see there is the sensor visible. Now to do this, I would simply give that a couple of squirts in there. And it's a good idea even to do it at an angle like that with the camera so that some dust there can fall out. And just be careful, gentle doing this. Make sure you don't overdo it. And then test your camera and see if that's fixed the problem. Because if that's fixed the problem, then you don't need to go any further, okay? But if you've got really um, a large amount of dust, dust stuck, stuck on that sensor, then we need to go to the next stage, which I'll come to in a minute. Um, I'm just gonna show you on this medium format camera, first of all, because medium format cameras are obviously a lot easier to deal with because the whole sensor comes off the back of the camera and just release it and off it pops on the Hasselblad there. And there you've got that beautiful large medium format sensor there. So obviously cleaning this with air is a piece of cake. And you generally don't have to touch or do anything more than that. If I do have to clean this a little bit more, I use these e-wipes. And I won't use that one because I froze it. And let's get this e-wipe here. And these have just got a little bit of solution on them so they're kind of moist and you just make sure you don't get the area that you want to touch and then you just give this a wipe across in one sweep nice and cleanly and then any of the residue there will evaporate and then once you've done with that that's pretty much it done and then I give it another blow with the air can just to be sure and then that can go back into position and back on the um, back on the back of the Hasselblad there. So nice and easy on a medium format camera to clean because the CCD is fully exposed and there for you to access. But on a 35 millimeter or a crop sensor camera, it's a little bit more tricky to get in there. Now we've just done the air dusting on that, so you saw how that worked. But what if we needed to use the cleaning swabs to do that? Well, with the I think this is DustAid, this kit that we use here. You've got a couple of options. They've got these little um, wands, they call it. And they've got these cleaning cloths, which are special ones for this type of thing. Get a new one of those out of there. Good idea to have clean hands, etc., for this sort of stuff, working in a clean environment. And then, oh, there's an extra one. With these, you basically wrap it around your wand and tuck it into a position you're comfortable with. You add some of the cleaning drop fluids onto that. And that basically gives you pretty much the same as one of these easy e-wipes, they're called. And those... Um, e-wipes 
are pretty much already ready soaked with the same sort of stuff that's on there. And then you'd use that. Let's just get the menu open again there. Sensor cleaning, clean manually, okay. And then you simply go in there with that and you can wipe across the sensor and that should hopefully remove any dust. And you can obviously get right into the corners. Do this very carefully. Make sure that you are very precise and careful with it. Now, in actual fact, I've used a slightly different way myself in that I actually use the e-wipe wrapped around one of these dust ones. So um, this works perfectly well, is take one of these wipes and then actually spend a bit of time, get that wrapped around the wand, and then you've got pretty much the same thing as the other type system of using the cloths and then doing the same thing again there, okay? So that is the dust wand. If you've still got stubborn dust left on uh, there, they also have this silicon method of cleaning which is a little bit different and it involves this little block which will basically attract the dust that's on the sensor to this block and stick it to it. But first you have to use one of these adhesive strips and you basically need to peel off, hold on a second, peel off one of these. Let me just get that, I'm going to keep that clean so just keep that in its box. Peel one of those off like that and then just press this down once onto there like so and then remove it and then locking that cleaning mode open again manually you then go into the sensor and you gently press down. You do not wipe side to side, okay? You just press down and up, like so, nice and gently. And that should lift any of the dust off of the sensor and away onto this block. And then, as you've removed that, set it down again. I quite often like the air cam method as well that another clean out. Now I've done that all in a bit of a rush for the purpose of the video. If you want to going to do that properly, make sure you've got a light shining in there. You can see exactly what you're doing. Do that very carefully, very slowly, right into the corners. The same with the cleaning cloth. I did it in a little bit of a hurry, but you can do that very much more precisely. I've used that method many times to clean my 5D Mark II, my 1DS Mark III, the Hasselblad with the e-wipes, and never had a problem cameras function perfectly afterwards and manage to remove the dust in pretty much most cases. I also find that you don't need to go to all the trouble of doing the uh, silicon block every time um, or the e-wipes every time. My first port of call would be just simply to use the air. Use the air, if that does it, do that fairly regularly, you should be able to keep it fairly clean. It's only if you've got really, really stubborn dust stuck, stuck onto that sensor that you then want to move over to using the e-wipes or the dust cloths and um, the silicon block. Anyway, that's how I clean my camera sensor. Uh, hope for that, hopefully that information was useful to you. Right now is what photographers call the magic hour. I've just spotted another great shot. I'm gonna try and put together a series of stitched images hoping for a really exciting shot. That's exactly what we want. I've got two lights set up and we've got this lovely wooden line. The exposure range is just too great. 